All right, boys. It was I, Dia. You know I had to do it again, bro. You, you just, you know I had to. <sighs> You are a little In today's video, we're going to be talking about something really quickly because, yo, I have been getting a lot of comments on this, a lot of DMs, and I really wanted to go over this because a lot of people have been asking it, and I think it's a question most of you will have, too. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, ticking the notification bell, and leaving a like. On this video, let's do it for the one S corner. Let's try to crack one, one, one likes. It's pretty simple, but again, it is the one, so let's try to crack it. Slap my nuts. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video, and let's start talking about what we got here today. So as as you all know, over here in the draw tab, we will be getting a new banner. It will be the one Escanor's banner, the one year anniversary. It will be a festival banner. We'll be getting a lot of good units. This banner will be leaving, so keep that in mind. Also, because you guys didn't believe me in my last video, yes, the 110 free draws are only for this banner. It is not for the one banner. Keep that in mind because I did say it last video or two videos ago, and I still received questions saying, bro, are you sure? Because I think it's why would they put an ad for it? That's just how Netmarble markets it. They only do that so that they like get new players exactly like how they're like persuading you that it exists. It doesn't really exist. Keep that in mind. That's a scam! Hopping over here quickly to the update preview notice. As you guys all know, I've also been spammed questions about this. It is happening 5 p.m. PST to 7.30 p.m. PST. I am almost guaranteeing you it will somehow be delayed by like an hour. So it might start at 5 p.m. PST and it might end around 8.30 p.m. PST. So, so for all you guys over on the east side, okay, 5 p.m. PST means it's going to start over here at 8 p.m. EST. To keep it very, very simple, in exactly about six to seven hours, the update will be completed. That is of when this video drops. Hopefully, I drop it right away and it doesn't take me too long to edit it uh, because, yeah, you know why. So right after maintenance ends, we will get the banner. We will get this new chapter. Uh, we will get these demon raids and whatever. We'll get the part two of the homecoming banner. Uh, we'll get this. We'll get this stuff. All of this stuff. We will get it. In fact, a lot of you guys have been asking me, how many gems should I go into this banner? How far should I go into it? If I'm a new player, should I go just 300 into it? Should I go just 600 into it? All of those questions. And I'm here to answer partially all of them. I've been asked this question too many times. So I wanted to make a video on it because, yo, know, I've been literally spammed this question by multiple, multiple people. I've been asked. I had a conversation with someone for like 20 minutes helping them and making them decide what they should do on this banner again if you want to follow my twitter sensei gogo -Go, link in the description i can help you guys over there if you need anything let me know that's over there but here we go this is the banner this is what it's looking like the festival units we got the coin shop uh sins coin shop commandments and then we have the uh you know the seven catastrophes and then hendrickson pretty simple banner i've already went over this i don't like going over things multiple times but that's what it's looking like now, at this moment in time, we don't know if this banner changes, so whatever I'm telling you right now might change if the banner looks a little bit different. But I will give it to you in an overall easy answer and a simple answer for you guys. Off the bat, I recommend if you don't have 900 gems yet, wait on this banner. Do not go and summon yet. The reason you're summoning on this banner is to get the one Escanor. I went on the Assault Melee banner, 900 gems, and I didn't get him until 870, and then I just went another 30 to get the second copy to 2-6 him. But... First things first, if you don't have Donald Gems, I would wait. Now, if you're a new player, right? If you have just started the game within this week, the last week, the week before that, this is for you. Go and summon. I don't even care how many gems you could have. Go and summon on this banner because you're getting festival units throughout it, which is, you know, super, super good. Half of these units will set your game up in a way where you'll be able to progress farther and farther. These units are broken. They're going to be most of them even. Like, for example, Demon Meliodas is a coin shop unit. We got Great Mage Merlin, a coin shop unit. Holy Knight Escort, there are coin shop units. But at this moment in time, you won't have that many coins or SSR coins to get them. So it'll be really cool starting off with them. Plus, you're going to have a chance to start off with the Catastrophes and Lost Vein, Goddess Elizabeth, Small Wing King. Uh, new King Arthur, you'll get a free copy of, but the one Esquinar, boom, a lot, a lot of good units on this to start your game off. Plus, if you're in the early stages of the game, you're walking, you're literally swimming in gems. Literally everything you touch in the game when you're a beginner will just give you a gem. It's easy, super easy. I made a video previous to this where I talked about how to get 900 gems uh, starting the game off like this week, how you can do it. Go check that video out. It'll help you guys out a ton. But again, it's super simple. If you guys just started the game and you want to get this banner, you have more than enough gems to do it. I think so. Go for it. Now, to answer the question of how many gems should I go into it? And should I, if I get one Escanor early, should I keep going or should I stop? Let me say this right now. You have to keep in mind, Assault Melee is approaching. Do you just want the one copy of Escanor or do you want to go to 2-6 him or even higher? Here's what my plan is. And I, I kind of advise all of you, all of you, all of you to do this. If you get the one Escanor before the 300, 
you should either, right? So let's say you get him at 150, right? You can decide if you want to go to the guaranteed SSR or you can just quit the banner and move on. Save your gems up for whatever, whatever net marble is like, you know, hiding uh, from now on because, you know, there's still a collab. There's a lot of things that could happen. Valentine's Derriere. She's not really a good unit, but wife and material. You know what I mean? If you get it around 150, that's my, that's my entire thing. If, let me say this, if you get it at 440, right? And you're that close to the guaranteed. If you want to go to the guaranteed, you can. It's all in the matter of, do you want to risk it? Do you want to go into it and, you know, see if you can get something? Uh, but again, I wouldn't recommend you go to the 900 if you get him before 300. If you want to 2-6 him, if you want to 3-6 him, go for it. But you got to keep in mind, if you're free to play, you have to prioritize other things. Because, you know, Assault Melee might be coming out real soon, you know, four weeks from now. And if you do go that extra 300, there's a high chance you might, you know, miss out on him if you don't have enough gems starting off. I've also been asked this, should I pick Goddess Elizabeth if I already have the one Eskorner when I reach 900? Now, if you already have the one, I highly recommend you guys get Goddess Elizabeth because again, that one unit will literally be the most toxic unit in the game. And obviously everyone's going to have her after this. It would be really stupid if you don't have her at that time. To answer this also, if you get, uh, you know, the one Eskorner at like 840 gems or you get it at 700 gems or you get it at 730 gems, I would continue onwards to get the uh, extra copy just because. It's about like 100, 200 gems. You're going to go into it and you'll have a little bit of a stronger Escanor. Uh, it's not really much. 100, I guess that's like a week or two of uh, dailies and your PvP and everything. That's how much you'll get in about two weeks. So it wouldn't really matter to me. If I were you, I would go that extra 200 just in case, you know, you hit 700 and you want to continue. I would do it. It's it's not it's not bad, but yeah. I think I already answered the question, but to keep it a little more simpler, if you hit 600 gems and you already have the one Esquinar, if you get him any point behind 600, I recommend stopping the banner right then and there. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, yo, I want that 2-6. I'm going to get destroyed in PvP. It's going to be a little bit risky if you still want to assault melee. If you don't want to assault melee and you don't care about a collab, you can go as many gems as you want in this banner. That is completely fine. But just keep in mind, there is assault melee after this. There is going to be maybe, maybe a collab after this and some other cool things. If, you know, Netmarble drops that over on GP. Uh, Global First, we might get something there. We don't know. It's just that. Just keep that in mind. Be ready for it. We will have about a few hours by the time this video is uploaded till the maintenance. Make sure you guys go com uh, complete all of the entire Valentine's stuff. It's really weird how we only had a one week Valentine's update. Literally all of the Valentine's things are ending. It's pretty sad, pretty uh, weird, but hey, we're not going to see any Valentine's update with this entire new, uh, the one anniversary stuff. So uh, we could see, maybe we have some uh, new units on this banner. Maybe it's a little bit of a change up banner. We'll see how it goes. That's really been it for me. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Prepare at last. The one Asconor Invincible Avatar is here. I will be streaming later tonight. If you guys want to join up with that, it's going to be a blast. We're going to be you know, going live, going, you know, doing some summonings. Again, I am a free to play. If I get him in 30 gems, my guy, I am I'm going to be hyped. Uh, I'm going to straight end the stream, hop off and start recording some videos and having some fun with them. But we'll see how far I go until I get him. Thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Laters.